What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be covering something that has been kind of annoying me for a while and that's how to create underground buildings in Revit and how to create buildings that have segments that are completely underground. The topography tool in Revit is kind of limited in this area and what it tends to do is to fill out that underground uh, room with earth and that's not what you want to do and also if you don't want to cover it then uh, it uh, if you don't want to fill it up uh, with dirt in that case uh, the upper portion if you use building pads uh, will be uh, opened up so it's not going to be underground uh, so uh, that was a common problem in Revit and I see a lot of people are searching for this uh, answer and I decided to create a tutorial on that topic I found a solution and in today's tutorial I'm going to be sharing with you uh, uh, here on YouTube. Now before I get into that I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial it helps me out a lot with the YouTube algorithm and also make sure to subscribe I make useful Revit tutorials each week I make multiple tutorials and also I make some courses I have a whole beginner to intermediate course that covers pretty much everything that you need to know to start creating buildings on your own in Revit and finishing projects and producing all project documentation uh, so I have that it's a 16-hour course. It's available on my website. It's going to be the first link in the description of this video. And I have a lot of advanced courses on that website as well. Uh, now, also, I have my Patreon page where you can find all of my Revit project files, over 500 files like this file that we're going to be creating today, uh, and also much, much more, and some of those advanced courses as well. So without any further ado, let's get straight into Revit. Okay, so here we are in Revit, and for this I'm just going to go straight into Models, into New, and for the template I'm going to be using the Custom Balkan Arctic template, the metric version. Now, if you're interested in this template, either the metric or the imperial version, check out the link in the description of this video where you can actually get this template. Now, I'm just going to click OK, and let's open up this project. So the first thing that I'm going to be uh, doing is just modeling out the site and then creating our building. Uh, so let's go here to Masking and Site, uh, then go to Topo Surface. Now, of course, we can't create a Topo Surface in Level 1 because we can't see it. So let's go into the Site Plan. And here in the Site Plan, let's go to Place Point. And then for the Elevation, let's start from 0. Place a few points just like that. Then let's go to something like, I don't know, 2 meters here, place a few points such as that, then let's go to 3, maybe something like that, and then let's finally finish off at 4, just like this. And then I'm just going to move this a little bit out, there we go, perfect, finish, there we go. Okay, now let's go to the east elevation just so we can see this from the side here as you can see we have uh, the level one the level two and then actually i'm going to move the level two up to maybe something like five meters and then also i'm going to add an additional level here on the architecture tab on the datum panel we have grids oops not grids sorry levels and then let's add an underground level here and let's rename that here into the underground There we go. Yes, let's rename the corresponding views. Perfect. Okay, next, let's move to the site plan. Let's go here somewhere around the center. Uh, let's go with the wall command. And here, I, I'm just going to change it to go from underground up to level two. Hit apply. And then let's just create a simple rectangle like this. There we go. Uh, now, once we have that, uh, what we can do is actually let's change the view template here for this site plan. So the view template is a site plan. I'm just going to go to none uh, just to make it easier to see. And then also let's go to view range and make sure that that is unlimited at the bottom. So now we can actually see through this uh, topography when we go here to wireframe. There we go. Uh, now, the reason I did this, uh, these view settings, is because now when I go to floor and create a floor like this, as you can see, we can completely see what's going on when we finish that. We can see that floor. Uh, now, if I go here to the 3D view, let's select that floor and move it. Let's make it 300 millimeters and let's move it from level one to level underground. Okay, these walls should go to underground. 
There we go. Okay, now let's do the rest of the walls and all of that. Uh, so for that, uh, I'm just going to go here to level... Uh, let's go to site plan, maybe. There we go. Uh, next, let's go to wall, and then this wall should go from underground up to level 1, hit apply. And let's go like this, all the way around like that. Perfect. Go to the 3D view, that's what we have. Select uh, the uh, bottom floor, let's go to copy paste and then let's paste it here uh, at selected levels at level one just like that and if you want you can of course go to up to level two and create some sort of a roof here uh, like this I know that that looks decent enough now if you're asking yourself why aren't the why isn't the roof green and the walls uh, gray well that's because this template has all of those adjustments set up so you don't have to manually set them up later on. Anyways, now here we have a couple of problems. Let me show you. If I go into level 1 and create a section going through this building and open that up, well, as you can see here, it looks like the earth is kind of going through the uh, through the building and it's uh, over here inside of the lower levels. And let's change this to solid. Yeah, looks much nicer. Anyways, this is not what we want to have. So uh, we can easily fix that here in this area by going just simply to uh, to the site plan and then going to the mask and site, going to the building pad and then creating a building pad like this. Hit finish, make sure that it's at level underground, hit apply, open up the section again. Perfect. But as you can see, the building pad will eat away uh, this upper part. Now, if we decide to change that building pad, so let's go into the site plan, make selection, go to filters, check none, pads, apply, OK, boundary. And if I extend that to include the other portion of the building like this and then go to the 3D view, as you can see, it, we have the building pad, uh, but this part is uncovered, which is not what we want to have. So let's go back like this. Yeah, that's what we want to have. And of course, if I go to the section box, you can see what that looks like. So here it's nice and opened up and clean. And here we have some earth filling that in. And that's not what we want to have. So uh, the only solution that they found so far, uh, if you want to kind of uh, keep using just the basic Revit tools, uh, is to, instead of using topography for your terrain, is to create it out of a mass. So let me show you how that works. It basically looks the same, works the same, uh, but the it does kind of uh, work around this issue that we have over here. So let me show you how that would work. Uh, what you want to do is go to here to show mass and then go to in place mass. Let's call it mass one. Click OK. There we go. Uh, next, what you want to do is move into the site plan and go here to the reference plane. And what you want to do is create three vertical reference planes. So one here, one here, one here. Now, depending on how um, how your topography is shaped, these may look different. In this case, I'm just going to keep it really, really simple. This one I'm going to name number one, this one number two, oops, number two, and this one number three. Uh, now what you can do is just go to one of the elevations. I'm going to go here to the east elevation. Uh, now uh, in most cases you're probably going to have different profiles for each of these reference planes. I'm just going to have one profile to keep it simple, maybe make some minor changes. Anyways, what you want to do is go here to set work plane, go to reference plane 1, click OK. And then I'll go here to the line tool, make sure that the draw on work plane is selected. And then basically you just want to start from there. And now I know what you may be thinking, why are you using lines? You can use a nice spline to go all the way up. Well, the reason why I don't want to use spline and I want to use regular lines is because I want to have those lines at each uh, at each meter so those uh, contour lines I want those to still be included so that's why I'm going to use one line here then one line up to there so basically at each meter we have a little break and that's uh, what's going to add the contour lines later on so we have this line like this let's go to line again and just go all the way down below the building 
maybe like that and then like this and make sure they connect so when you select it it selects the whole chain next let's go to the 3d view this is what we have okay so here uh, you will notice that it doesn't uh, want to show the the bottom so we can go here to finish mass for a second and then just make sure to extend this section box to include everything there we go let's go back into edit in place select this profile and then what you want to do is go to copy go to paste and then align it to the same place now once you have done that you can just switch the host from reference plane 1 to reference plane 2 then do the same thing align to the same place and here in this case go to reference plane 3 now of course you can make some changes to these profiles if you want you can kind of move them around a little bit just to make things uh, a bit more interesting a bit more different so that one you can change like that this one can go here down down maybe up there we go okay so once you have these three profiles you want to make a kind of cross selection of all profiles and then create form perfect next you want to select that form just like this and then go here to the material and let's apply the earth material just make sure that that is the material that has the uh, kind of the cut pattern uh, with the earth texture there we go okay perfect once we have this now the only thing that we have to do is move to the north elevation again uh, make sure to turn on wireframe and then go to set work plane go with reference plane number two click ok and then uh, you just want to use simple lines make sure again the draw on work plane is selected and then you want to kind of cut out this shape so you want to go here from from the bottom all the way up just like that go here back there back here and make a complete chain so this is what you want to have go to the 3d view select that maybe turn on wireframe perfect and then go here to void forms then make sure to extend it here along the up to the edge of the building on this side select the other side go to the edge there as well and now if we go back into hidden line or realistic yeah now we should have our building now of course we can still see it we have to go here to finish mass select the topography and hit delete and then for this topography uh, let's uh, move the section box and there we go looks perfect so as you can see now we have topography going over our building and everything looks perfect now you're probably thinking well we still don't have grass on top of this don't worry about it you can always go here to the manage tab uh, oops not the manage tab the modify tab uh, go to geometry go to paint select uh, grass or in this case plant there we go and then just apply that on each of these click done and there we go so it looks exactly like topography uh, it has everything that it needs to have so we have those contour lines which are of course important and our building looks perfect and of course when we open up our section our section looks like this now so everything is perfect so there you go that's how you can create something uh like this and rather that's how you can create a uh, topography that goes over the building so you can have underground parts of your building i hope this was interesting uh, uh, to you and of course i hope i have solved your problem now if you have maybe a different approach maybe something interesting uh, that can work i know there is approach with the dynamo but they just find it a bit too complex to do something as simple as this i think this can work in most cases unless you have some really truly complicated uh, topography uh, this will do just fine without having to resort to something like dynamo so uh, i think this is a really really good solution okay so that's pretty much it for this tutorial thank you for watching make sure to subscribe like and share this video and if you're interested in some of those courses check out the links in the description thank you for watching and have a nice day